All right. Um, so uh, I'm going to talk about taxonomy. I'm from uh, uh, a group, a nonprofit called Our Open Sci. If you don't not heard of us, we, we mostly make uh, uh, software tools in the programming language R. Uh, this is a link to the to the talk. If you want to follow along or click on any links, so all the links are usually in the sort of blue type. Uh, and we uh, have to acknowledge the funding from Helmsley, and this is a license CC by. Uh, uh, a lot of the work has been done with my collaborator, Zach, Zach Foster, uh, who is down at uh, OSU. And he's also an ARPNSI fellow this year, which is uh, it's very cool. Um, so, uh, uh, so biologists have to deal with taxonomic names. Um, whether you study one species or two species or 10 species or a million species, uh, you have to deal with their names at some point. Uh, whether you know, it's updating them or correcting misspellings or getting a higher taxonomy for your, your species or whatever it is. Um, so there's lots of challenges in, in working with uh, taxonomic data. Uh, taxonomic data is hierarchical, so it's, it's not exactly straightforward how to, how to work with that type of data. Uh, taxa can be names, it can be classifications of names, it can be IDs. Uh, some things you're working with may not have names yet or, or ever will have names. Uh, different sources of taxonomic data, uh, there's lots of different sources of taxonomic data like NCBI or Catalog of Life and they never, uh, and they have different um, uh, representations for the same species or uh, when they have different names, different IDs as well. Um, and taxonomic data is often associated with other data. So you have, whether it's sequence data or data collected in the field or in the lab. Um, and ideally, uh, if you're working with data that has taxonomy linked to it, if you're filtering on taxonomy, it will automatically filter your data uh, for you. So we've been working on this R package called Taxa. Um, and it has classes to hold taxa, uh, taxonomies, and associated data. Um, there's flexible parsers to convert uh, raw data to those to these classes. Um, and if you've ever used a dplyr, it's sort of like uh, pandas for the Python world. Uh, it has dplyr type functions to easily sort of manipulate uh, these classes. Um, and any filtering or subsetting, whether it's based on taxa or the data, links both taxa and data together, so they're both um, sort of keep in sync. Um, and these, uh, and we think that the, the idea is that taxa and the equivalent Python package I'll talk about in a second will be sort of these flexible bases for other packages to build on top of. So there's a sort of uh, a unified sort of taxonomy types that people work with. Um, so this is an a example of a tax map object in R, which has on the top, it has a taxonomy. So it, the tax, when you make this object, it breaks down the taxonomy into uh, nodes and edges. Uh, and so it sort of compresses the data so it takes up uh, less space. And then we have any arbitrary number of data sets that uh, they can be data frames, they can be vectors, they can be lists, they can be whatever you want. They have to have names though so they're linked to the taxonomy. Uh, and then the idea is that we can manipulate that taxonomic, uh, the data with it and the taxonomy together uh, so the first example here is subsetting the taxonomy and data um, to one taxon. And the next one, uh, we're going to uh, subset the taxonomy to a particular rank, so we want to pick out a uh, genus. Um, and the third one, we're subsetting the data and removing any taxa that are not in the subset. And the last one, we're adding a column to the data set, so where we're sort of mutating or add, adding data to, the, to, the, um, to, our, to our object. Um, so PyTaxa is a very recent project. I just got the first version on PyPy uh, last night or the night before, I can't remember. Um, so you can install it now. And this is a quick example of, on the left there, is um, an example hierarchy uh, for salmon. And then on the right is a quick example of something where you're sort of filtering that taxonomy, uh, pulling out specific taxa. And you could do that with the taxonomic names. You could do that with the ranks or with the IDs. Um, and so plans for the future, uh, we want to bring PyTaxa into parity with Taxa, which is going to take a while because there's, there's a lot of code in Taxa. Uh, and one idea might be shuttling data between PyTaxa and Taxa, making that easy so people in Python and R can work together. Um, arbitrary data backends would be really nice because sometimes people have a lot of either data or taxonomy data itself, or both, uh, and mappings to uh, Darwin core terms. Um, and there's the code. Uh, 
And thanks a lot. Thank you, Scott.